What's going on YouTube? My Lark's here today. We're back from the Royal Player Review. This time, Freddy Lundberg's Shapeshifter Hero card. Now, looking like a nice card, I did use his Foot Captain's card, and that was a really good card. This card has only cost me 80k. Obviously, we are already under FIFA, so some cards are not going to be that expensive. 5 foot 9, medium, medium work rates, right footed, 4 star skill moves, 5 star weak foot. So this is exactly the same as his foot captains. I'm pretty sure the work, work rates might have been a little bit different. But we'll take a quick look at the attribute details. His pace is absolutely rapid. I'm probably still going to go with a Hawk chemistry style with him. I feel like that was the best chemistry style when I used him before. Obviously, depending on how uh, smooth he is in game, which his last card that I used, which was a 92 rated, was very smooth in game then I feel like you, you'll be all right with the dribbling. Some of you may, because he's already got good pace, you might want to put a finish with him just to max out that agility and balance. Now he has the average body type in game. I did use his previous card and I really like that card as well. That was very smooth, very silky in game, able to turn left and right. And people were, were struggling to defend against this guy because of how good you know, his left, left stick dribbling was, L1 dribbling as well. Obviously player traits got the outside of the foot shot, speed dribbler as well. So it's got two really good shooting traits, but you're gonna need in game. So, like I said, as you can see, he can more or less play anywhere. Probably right wing, left wing, cam, striker. Obviously, he's got really, really nice like, uh, curve as well. So, I'm interested to see how good his finesse shots are going to be in game. Obviously, his long shots are only 88. So, again, that's probably why I'd probably put a Hawk chemistry style on him. Just to max out the pace and the shooting. Because, obviously, that's what we're going to want. Obviously, his finishing's already really good as well. Physically as well, he's good. 84 strength, 95 stamina. So, they're the two stats that we're going to look at as well that we really need. So, like I said, we're going to play him in different positions as a cam, as a striker, as a left winger, his previous position. So, we're going to play a few games of foot champs qualification games and let's see how we get on. Okay, strong enough to hold on to the ball. Nice bit of skill. Oh, that's a nice bit of play that is from Freddy Lundberg. Good bit of skill. Obviously, with a five-star weak foot. Great finish. Yeah, nice skill. Gets away from Lorenzo. Into Lundberg. Can turn either way. Oh, keeper gets that quick, just smother him, though. Nice turn again by Lundberg. Goes across two. Picks up Pele. What a run that was. Lundberg. Twist. Turns. Oh, I put it over the bar again. But as you can see, left or right foot, apart from my poor finishing, he is quite hard to deal with. Oh, again, I just can't finish with him, but... Dribbling wise, he's just very, very overpowering. Again, the pace. Okay, this guy's lost his head anyway, but as you can see, left stick dribbling with this card, very, very good. Lundberg's still going, look at the pace. All from Lundberg, that was straight from kickoff. But again, great bit of play from Lundberg. Again, nice tackle by Lundberg. Bang, and that's how you do it. Played about three or four one twos with Pele. And obviously, this guy's got the five star weak foot, he can shoot either way. Oh, that is. Unbelievable. How is that for a goal from Freddy Lundberg? Wow. Rinses the defender. Dinks the goalkeeper. What a finish that is from Freddy Lundberg. The footwork, the finish. Very nice card. This is the roof of the net. Look, barring in. Nice feet again. Oh, he's moved the goalkeeper again. Again, I've not seen that amount of goals I should have with this card. Great play again from Lundberg. Let's 
finished. Left or right foot, this guy really doesn't miss. He doesn't miss. It's a nice pass through. Thinks the goalkeeper. Yeah, it's a great finish. What a ball from Lundberg that was. So, as you see from the gameplay, this guy is an absolute beast. Three games, four goals, two assists. Now, I didn't even end up putting a chemistry style on him, and that's how good his shooting was. That's how good his dribbling was. So, with the chemistry style, obviously, I was a little bit undecided on what to go with. I know I did say I was like going with a Hulk, but like I said, this guy is an absolute beast. You don't really need to worry about what chemistry style you put on him. But if I was to pick personally, I would go with a Hulk or a finisher. It's entirely up to you. Some of you may want to max out that dribbling, max out his shooting. Either way, the Hulk maxes out the pace. It depends what you want more. The pace maxed out or the dribbling maxed out. Either way, he's already got really good ball control, really good pace. Like I said, with a basic, that's how we performed in game. That is how we performed in game with a basic. Left and right foot. As like I said, people with five-star weak foots are hard to defend against because you don't know if they're going to go on their left or right foot. Now, I couldn't find any faults of this. He's got really, really good passing as well. Even though eight, his long pass is only 85, because he's got such good curve in game, you know, his passing's just, again, it just takes it to that next level. Dribbling wise, as you see, very, very good. He's he's up there with some of the like some really good wingers on the game. I wouldn't say he's top tier dribbler, but he's good enough to be able to be coming up against like a Marquinhos and Militao when he was beating them, as you see. So if I'm going to give this card a rating out of 10, I'm going to give it a 10. I think the only problem you're going to have with this card is trying to link him in because he's based in the MLS. Obviously, there is some nice MLS cards. You've got Hani Mukhtar, which again is a really nice card that I've done a review on. You've got Clint Dempsey's foot captain card. They're the two cards that probably stand out to me that you'd probably want to get linked in with Lundberg. If not, you're going to need to get icons in and around him or Swedish players. I couldn't really find any faults of it. Like I said, I played him on a basic because, like I said, he was just good enough on a basic. His pace is still really good. Shooting, passing, dribbling. You know, there's not really too much more I can say. Obviously, at this stage of FIFA, every card is going to be really good anyway. But like I said, it depends totally on what you think. If you just want his pace maxed out and you want him to be quick, obviously I'd go with a Hulk chemistry style. If you feel like he's not agile enough in game, he doesn't move, to, like he doesn't uh, turn quick enough, then I'd go with a finisher. But for me personally, I think the Hulk would be the best because he's already quite, quite strong with his dribbling. Or another alternative, you could obviously put the engine on, which would do pace and dribbling. I mean, he's already got 97 finishing, 92 shot power, but his long shots are not that great at 88. So it's entirely up to you. They're the three chemistry styles. Me personally, I'm probably going to go with a Hulk because like I said, I feel, I feel like his dribbling in game is really good. In terms of best position, I'd probably keep him in the striker role or as a left winger. I feel like either of them, I, I couldn't really pick one. As a winger, he's very quick, very agile, and up front as well. We've got the five-star weak foot. A little bit like Ben Yedda. I'm not going to compare him to Ben Yedda. Ben Yedda's a much better card, but he's similar to that Ben Yedda type where he can just shift it and then hit it on left or right foot. And that's what was happening in the game when I was playing with him. So, yeah, 10 out of 10 for this card for 80k. You know, it's a very, very good card to have in your team. But that is all for today's video. Thanks for tuning in. Like, subscribe, comment. We're on the road to 2,000 subscribers. If you're looking to make more coins on FIFA without spending any money on the game, looking for ways to improve your team but you're not too sure how, join my FIFA Trader server group. The link is in the description below. It's on Discord. It's free to join. So make sure you go and check that out, guys. Thanks for tuning in. And until next time, 